Have you heard of Bionic Reading Apps? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nick and today I will be showing you three Bionic Reading Apps. We have here Bionic Reading, BioRead, and FastRead. Let's start with Bionic Reading. When you open this app it takes you to this home screen and then a menu shows up to enable sharing to your web browser. On iPhones this would be Safari so here it shows us how to enable this through Safari. To do this you want to open up the share button which is that button that looks like a rectangle with the arrow through the top and you want to go press more which is the three dots and then you'll select bionic reading. Here it will then take you to the bionic reading app and open up your browser. Now you can use your browser with this app. This app also allows you to bionic read through text and through file uploads. Whether you type or upload a file, it will then process the text and change it to this easy to read text. So let's go try this out with the website. The example text we'll be using is from BettyCrocker.com and it's a recipe for easy Halloween cookies. That's what we need with Halloween being four days away. So to do this, you're gonna copy and paste the browser URL and then paste it into the app under the website tab. It will then pull up the website, you're going to press continue, and it will then convert the text into easy to read text. And now we have our recipe. So let's go back to the home screen, and now let's exit the app, and let's go to BioRead. And I forgot to mention, Bionic Reading is free to use, whereas BioRead and FastRead are free in some sorts of ways, but they also have subscriptions that you need to buy to use them fully. When you open up the app, it has this introduction and then lets you try the Bionic Reading feature. Once you get past this, it'll take you to the subscription, which is either 8 bucks a week or 38 bucks a year. And then you'll get to this home screen. We also have the Settings tab to the bottom right. Here you'll find things like ways to support their app, customize your text like the text size, font family, colors, spacing, and padding or you can go read the privacy policy or terms of use. Now for an example, let me go show you the text size. So default it's at 17, it goes all the way up to 100, and as we make it bigger it shows less words per page. And when you get to 100 it only shows about one word per page. Now let's show you an example of what it looks like when you paste text into the app. I'm going to use that same Halloween cookie recipe. Now in this app, unless you're using the premium subscription, it only allows you to use three uses of free text. So when I use this, I'm only going to have two left. Alright, so first I'll paste the text in. And when you're in these apps, you have to allow to paste from Safari. So I'm going to allow. And then I'm going to name this Halloween cookies. Then I'm going to press the save button at the top right. And now we have our recipe in big font and it's easy to read. We also have at the top right these three dots that allow you to jump to a page or download pages. Alright, so that's BioRead. Now let's go to FastRead. Similar to BioRead, it takes you to this introduction when you open the app. They tell you what the app can do and how it processes text. This app also requires a full subscription for full use. So once you get past this introduction and the ad for their premium, you'll get to the home screen. As you're getting there, it will also ask you to allow things like notifications and to paste from Safari. So with this app, it just has a text converter right when you open it. And as you can see, it asked me if I wanted to convert my clipboard, which I did. So it converted the recipe that I had copied. If we go to our history now, we can see it says menu, where I copied that menu into there. We also have the settings page where you can customize the font or learn more about the app. Let's go back to that text that I copy and pasted. And here you can see now it's processed into the Bionic text. Now it's easier to read and we can see things like breakfast, brunch, and so forth. So I encourage you to check these apps out. These are great to help make things easier to read. I use these apps myself and I encourage you to check them out as well. 